92 here. I'm here with who? Uh, Gage Cox. And what did you do at the last regional that you attended? Uh, I got third with Flunder. All righty. And, uh, yeah, it was crazy. Guys, he's been playing Flunder nonstop. I give credit to you. Two years. years Almost two, two years. years. <laughs> Yo, I respect that. And uh, what, what made you play this deck for this format? Um, Shifter. Shifter. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. And, and the new quick play is pretty good for consistency, so I've oh, been enjoying yes. it, too. That is true. The new quick spell, though, like a new advent, so you're playing, like, five or six, depending on the ratio. But, yeah, before... Uh Oh, uh, you want to say something? Uh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, and uh, before we get into this video, um, do you want to say uh, any shout-outs or anything like that? Or you want to say about the uh, sh Shout-outs to my team. Uh, shout-outs to Ben over at 2 Gaming. He's always helping me out with whatever I need. Uh, same thing with my girl, Audrey. Uh, she's always just helping me stay motivated and stay on track. Sounds good, boss. And ready when you are. Alright, uh, we'll start the list off with standard, three Robin, uh, that's mandatory, uh, three Eagle, that's mandatory, uh, here's what's a little bit different, three Toucan. Yo, <laughs> what? Three Toucan? How was that? Uh, this is one of my favorite cards in the deck, um, so this card helps you play through Droll, mainly, and plus, uh, you know, Robin's the only one card starter, so two can paired with any other Flunder card is pretty good, and unless it's Stree. Uh, so if you have a spell in your hand, you still got full combo. So it's just a consistency thing, also, and I wouldn't change this ratio at all. Um, we played two Stree. Um, I was playing three of every single name. But I decided to play a different list the last second just to try something out. Um, we'll get into that further on in the video. Uh, if you if you go watch M. Cole's channel, uh, I actually won a 3v3 double case tournament playing three of every name. Uh, I went undefeated 6-0. So go check that out. Uh, next is the Big Birds. Three and pin. Uh, this is always standard. Uh, I sided an imp out one game, and I just felt naked without it. Uh, I, I never cut this bite down to two. Uh, one Avion, one Ryza, standard, and then three of the best hand trap in the game. <laughs> E-Shifter. <laughs> uh, I saw this card in an absurd, like, absurd amount. Uh, there, there, I was playing against Fire one game, and my hand was D-Shifter, uh, Lightning Storm, Dark Ruler, Map, Robina. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it must be nice. <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't lose that game, by the way. <laughs> that's good. All right, yeah. so we'll get on to the spells. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so, you know, the consistency cards, three pots, or six pots. Um, two map. Oh, no, I mean, three map, sorry. Uh, that's standard, obviously. Uh, three of the new quick play spell card, Swallows. This deck has consistency issues, so you play this card over Book of Moon now. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's another advent also, so mm -hmm. uh allows you to break a lot less. Uh, three advent, of course. Uh, two thrust. Uh, I got tired of people main decking Droll when Droll's bad in this format. Mm -hmm. Uh... So, uh, I was playing Dark Ruler in the main. Dark Ruler is gas too in the main, but uh, last second, like I said, I switched up my list and I put these in the main. Mm -hmm. uh, one Terraforming, one, one on Explored Winds. Mm -hmm. And then for the traps, the one Dreaming Town and one uh, Feather Storm for the Thrust Target. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you get Drolled, you just got a Thrust for Storm and then. They have to pass turn since uh, you turn skip them and you just uh, you kill them on the crackback. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, forty cards. Forty cards. I was playing forty two in the main, mm -hmm. uh, with three of each name and three dark ruler. Mm -hmm. Okay. That list is also good too. But uh, do you want extra deck or side deck? Well, we can go uh, extra deck and then side deck afterwards. Alright, extra deck. Alright, so... Alright, so we got two Zeus. Uh, two Downward. 
the Fucho, the symbol Nightingale. I didn't make any of these. Mm-hmm. I got the Entis, uh, a Wind Pegasus, and an aggregate, <clears throat> Aggregator. Those are my ult- like Ultimate Slayer targets, but I ended up not playing Ultimate Slayer. Mm-hmm. Uh, one Cerberus, one Furgit, uh, one Codebreaker, uh, Virus Swordsman. This is my biggest out. I should be playing IP, but I don't. Um, one Anima, uh, one Nightmare Phoenix, and one Underworld of the Goddess. Would you uh, change anything of your extra deck, or you think how mm-hmm. ready to go into your extra deck? Uh, I've been playing with, with the same extra deck for like a year. Oh wow! <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, like the only thing that ever comes up is the Zeus and the the Virus Swordsman mm-hmm. once in a blue moon. Oh yeah, for a book go. Yeah. All right. So side deck. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So I decided to play the one Dark Ward for Lab because I went to a regional not too long ago, mm-hmm. and I told myself there is no way in chance I'm playing against Lab this regional. It's going to be like all fire or voiceless. Mm-hmm. And I played against Lab round two, and I got smacked. Ooh. So I had had like free spaces and I didn't know what to play so I put this back in mm-hmm. and just to respect the lab matchup. And risk a race too. Uh I need I didn't, you know I'm gonna be honest, I never thought about using this against rescue race. <laughs> uh one Diddy Crow. This card's insane right now. Uh the one called by. Mm-hmm. Uh the second unexplored wins. This card's really good going second. Mm-hmm. Um I use it for an OTK line sometimes. And you also need it for the mirror match because since flu is gaining popularity right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one Feather Duster. Mm-hmm. Uh, double Lightning Storm. Uh, triple Dark Ruler. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other two Feather Storms. Mm-hmm. And then the three Evenly Match. Okay, that's standard. Oh, you can't anything about your Psychic at all? Or you think it was pretty standard or um i'm kind of like honestly like 50 50 about it mm. um dark rule is really good um I, i'm just playing like a bunch of board breakers because mm. I, I really don't know what else to like i really play right now mm. like so like hand traps are just mid mm. unless it's like d shifter or something like that mm. so there's really not a reason for me to play hand traps yeah that's true uh, and I was surprised. Uh, what made you didn't want to play Call by the Grave? Since I know you played Thrust, was there a time you want to play Call by the Mean Deck or not really? Uh, nah. Uh, well, Thrust is just better, but mm-hmm. you don't want to take a risk for that game three. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. That that game three is super important. Um. Also, I I played through Droll mm-hmm. like a a lot. Oh wow. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Do you mind if I show you? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. All right. So let's say you, uh, this catches my opponent off guard every single time. Mm-hmm. So let's say you have like three engine pieces, right, mm-hmm. in your hand. Uh, so like specifically map Robin, and then any other card. It could be like Eaglin. It can be uh Adamant mm-hmm. or uh, Impen. Mm-hmm. Um, so what you can do is like you can like just save the map, go normal summon Rabina, mm-hmm. uh search whatever. Uh if you don't have Toucan, mm-hmm. you probably search you probably search Toucan. Mm-hmm. And then you summon Eaglin, right? Mm-hmm. And then on res your opponent drolls you. So like Eaglin one, droll two. Mm-hmm. Now you can just activate the field spell, uh-huh. reveal toucan. And Ooh. dump the trap card, oh. and then and then get it back. Yeah, I, I play through draw like that a lot. Oh wow, uh, that's impressive! Wow. <laughs> well, if if you just go map effect reveal Robin, yeah, and that's how you start your playoff, and your opponent has draw, you lose. Oh so, okay, okay. So you want to like try to read read their cards if they have draw or not? Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. So like, uh, you can chain Advent to draw, mm-hmm. uh, ban- banish Robin. Mm-hmm. Search, search your two came like that too. If you open the advent, mm-hmm. and then the robin will just be follow up on your opponent's turn when you use dreaming sound. So you just play on their turn instead, and they're 
down a card already. So it's going to make it harder for them to play through what you have. And then if you open the end pin, uh, you end with a tribute on board plus dreaming zone. Mm, okay, okay, that's like a it's, just, uh, it's it's like your, your standard end board. Yeah, but with the uh, tribute with the uh, um, end score win there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's all also OTK'd quite a bit. Uh. Uh, just using shifter, mm -hmm. uh, and then going through a unexplored wins line, and I just end the game there. Oh. Okay. Well, with, with with three and pin, yeah. yeah so you you banish um, uh, and pin off map. Mm -hmm. Go Robin summon or search two can, mm -hmm. and then summon the two can, and then you get back to and pin, and then you summon the and pin. That and pin will search unexplored wins, and then you summon Eaglin. I'm like assuming you have Eaglin already in hand, uh, or you summon actually you summon Robin, the dead Robin first, and then you activate wins. And then you summon Eaglin. And then Eaglin will search out your second imp pin. And then you can tribute over the Robin. And then you can use Advent to get out the third one. And then that puts three imp pin with Unexplored Wins. Mm. So it, it pretty much just outs everything. And that's, is it's, that under five summon? Or? Uh, uh, no, that's that's not under five summons. But uh, since you have Unexplored Wins face up on the field, if your opponent does try to Nibiru you, you don't care because you still have access to Dreaming Town and then you just play oh, on your opponent's turn. That is true, that is right. Okay. Yeah, so so essentially you search wins, advent, and dreaming town in one turn and try to kill. And if that doesn't happen, you still got the trap card. Uh makes sense. Uh two more questions and then yeah. Uh was there a time that you missed um the Dark Some War, the level four one? Um, uh, okay, so I've been like 50-50 on that card here recently. <laughs> uh, th that card is extremely good. Mm -hmm. There were times where I was, you know, missing it. I'm like, well, damn, if they ash my eagle here, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of lose. Mm -hmm. Since I don't have my chain block. Correct, correct. Um, But then again, there have been times where I'm playing against fire. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't ended that great or oh, something like that correct, yeah. and i have a dark Samorg in the graveyard oh yeah. and and then they go dark charmer otk with the dark Samorg. Oh, okay yeah, never mind. You're right, you're right. so I, I mean I, I think it's personal preference preference i mean i just talked this list without it so mm -hmm. it obviously it's not needed but i think it's just personal preference at this point yeah makes sense uh, do you remember what was your matchup uh, throughout the regional? All right, so my match matchups were Marincis, uh two zero. Uh, that match was done in like ten minutes. Uh, Medadium, oh, wow. I won two two zero. Mm -hmm. uh, that match was also done in like ten minutes. <laughs> uh, Snake Eyes, I won two zero. That match was also done in like ten minutes. Uh, my round four, I did not know what my opponent was playing. Uh, I got he was main deck and droll. Mm -hmm. I got rolled and then thrusted for feather storm, mm -hmm. and that just he like he just he just scooped mm -hmm. and then went to game two, and we were about and we we're in the middle of sighting about to start and the judges came into deck check and he got a game loss. Oh, <laughs> wow! Yeah, so uh, I guess he was. Uh, cheating in a remote region like this i don't know wow I, I i guess it's pretty easy to do in remote since you don't have to like uh uh since i, I like i don't know mm -hmm. to me it seems like it'd be easy to cheat yeah 100 percent. uh uh let's see round five was voiceless voice i won two one uh and then round six was Snake Eyes Fire King, I won 2-1. Uh, round 7 was Snake Eyes, I lost 0-2. Uh, I, I got 2 0 so fast. Uh, let's see. And then round 8 was Purely, and I won 2-0. Okay, for sure. Um, congrats for getting third, Gage, and uh, you will get first next time. And will you be going to any YCS or regionals coming up? And I believe you're at the top 16 world's race off for now. Uh, I I, th I think I'm close. I think somebody said the safe zone was 200 for world points. 
Uh, I'm, I'm not like 100% sure, but I should be close to that area. So I'm going to be playing a lot more regionals just to make sure I can secure mm-hmm. a spot. Mm-hmm. And then I will be playing YCS, uh, Rally, um, coming up. And I will be playing, I guess, a, something similar to this list, uh, like focusing on all gas, maxing out on all the names because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, it's more consistent. But We'll see what happens. Yeah, for sure. And best of luck to you, man. And you guys ever see him, say hi to him. Best Blender player in the world. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. And hopefully to see you more in the future. And your boy Cyberhorn92 is signing out. Peace.